After missing out on the postseason in 2017, Bob Davey and New Mexico are looking to get back on track towards a third bowl appearance in the last four years. Hi, I'm Jesse Kurtz in the Mountain West Network studio. New Mexico returns 11 starters from a team that went 3-9 and nine a year ago. Here's what you need to know as we count down to kickoff with the New Mexico Lobos. The triple option has been a staple of the Bob Davey era in Albuquerque since his arrival in 2012. But 2018 will feature a much more diverse offensive attack. The Lobos, which ranked 122nd in the country in passing yards per game, plan to put the ball in the air much more often this season, a move driven by a wealth of talent at the wide receiver position. A couple of those guys we recruited as quarterbacks that have made the move. Uh, Elijah Lilly, for example, we moved from corner, who's a great return man to offense. But we've got a lot of perimeter athletes that I don't think we really could take advantage of if we stayed in the exact system of offense we've been in. We're going to get our, our, our playmakers the ball. We're going to get it out in, in, in open, and hopefully those guys can make guys miss and go 50 yards for touchdown. So it's very exciting to to not be running the triple option anymore. Uh, <laughs> we're definitely going to balance out the offense way more than we have in the past and hopefully get the ball out of the space. While a change in offensive philosophy is in the works, Tyrone Owens will still be heavily featured as the Lobo running back. Owens rushed for over 1,800 yards and scored 11 touchdowns over the last two seasons. The senior will be the featured runner, but won't be the only Lobo to get significant carries. Amari Davis is a young guy we recruited. Uh, we've got a young guy, Day Day Villagen, Contrell Moran. Um, uh, we, we've got some running backs still in the program. I'm not sure we have quite the breakaway back like we've had in the past, you know, to just hand it to him and it's in a home run guy. That's why I think getting the ball out on the perimeter to our skill guys gives us a better opportunity maybe. Senior linebacker Alex Hart will lead the Lobo defense, which is coming off a 2017 campaign in which it allowed the fewest yards per game in nine years. Hart, who made 58 tackles last year, is the top returning tackler this fall. Hart, who has played in this New Mexico defense for three straight years now, is excited to take on a leadership role in the huddle in 2018. It's just doing the, the little things right, and, uh, and that's what pushes me to be a leader, too. Um, to be there for these guys and to help push these guys and um, so we can all be on the same page with, with what we want to do with this program and get it in the right direction. He's one of those guys that's just a natural leader. You know, he crosses all lines of personality, guys with different interests, guys that like guys, don't like this guy. He's a guy that everybody respects and everybody likes, first of all, and that's huge. That's huge, particularly is that Mike linebacker. Um, and he's really a good football player. New Mexico kicks off the season with four straight non-conference games, including a trip to Wisconsin, followed by a fierce in-state battle with New Mexico State, a rivalry matchup which has been won by the Aggies the last two seasons. The Lobos have had this game circled in red for an entire year and know it has the potential to really set a positive tone for the season with a victory. It's huge. You know, I mean, all in-state rivalries are big, obviously all on different levels, but for us it's big, you know, when we go to Las Cruces, they ended up last year, you know, beating Utah State, a Mountain West Conference team, in the bowl game. They open up with Wyoming at home, uh, they also play Utah State before we play them, so we'll have a pretty good idea, but New Mexico State's done a heck of a job with that program. You know, we've had some tough losses to them the past two years that I haven't I haven't stopped thinking about and obviously they've been good games, but this year uh, we can't let that happen. Coming into this year, 2018, the Lobo football program off of that year in a tumultuous offseason has a huge chip on its shoulder. Probably the size of the Sandia Mountains right there that framed Dream Style Stadium to the east. They're going to have to do it with a brand new offensive coordinator. His name is Calvin McGee. Coach Davies brought him in to revamp the offense. The biggest thing he needs to do is find a quarterback. There'll be a three quarterback competition to replace four year starter Lamar Jordan in camp this year. Newcomer Sharon Jones, returners Colton Gerhardt and Tavaka Tuioti. 
Calvin McGee begins his first season with the Lobos, bringing the great Rich Rodriguez offense to Albuquerque. Who's going to run it? That's the biggest question. Thank you, Robert. The New Mexico Lobos open up the 2018 season at home on September 1st against Incarnate Word. This countdown to kickoff has been brought to you by Mountain America Credit Union, the official credit union of the Mountain West. From the Mountain West Network Studio, I'm Jesse Kurtz.